Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So, in our journey today, we are leaving retreat in the parish of Westmoreland and we are heading towards Savlamar. We are also going to be slowing down the video so you can enjoy the view. Sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, last week, we told you that there were some things happening at Flankers in Montego Bay. We had promised that we were going to tell you what is happening. Stand by. The last story that we are going to be bringing. We are going to be telling you what is happening at Flankers in Montego Bay. We want to save some young persons' lives. Not only young persons, but we want to save some lives. So, stand by for that story. Also, today, we have a number of new stories for you. We are going to give you some stories that you are not going to hear anywhere else. Ensure that you listen to the end. Now, first up, that teenager that you're seeing on your screen, her name is Lacey Palmer. She's 13 years old. Lacey Palmer, she's from Portobello Heights in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Lacey, she has been reported missing since Tuesday, November 23, 2021. She's of a brown complexion, slim built, and about 5 feet 6 inches tall. Reports are that Lacey was last seen at her home. She was seen wearing a white blouse and a pink tights. Since then, Lacey has not been seen or heard from. If you have any information where this young girl is, please contact the nearest police station. You can also contact the Mount Salem Police Station who is investigating this matter at 876-952-3572. You can also call the 119 emergency numbers. Please, if you have any information where Lacey is, pass on the information. Now, in this next story, and this is a warning to persons, it is possible for you to be charged with failing to report a case of RAPE. Yes, it is possible. A Westmoreland man has been arrested and charged for that offence. Usually, we don't carry those incidents on this channel. Reason being, we want to protect the victim. That is the reason why we don't carry those stories. Not to protect the accused, but we are going to tell you about this incident because we might be saving you. We are learning that a Westmoreland man, he has been arrested and charged by the police. He has been charged for failing to report a said sexual offence. We are learning that a 15-year-old student, she went to the man's house. One of her sisters was staying at the house. The allegations are that the man's son, he held down this 15-year-old girl and did what he wanted to do with her against her will. After the incident, the 15-year-old girl, she made a report to the man. Yes, the father of the man who did what he did to her. The father, it is alleged that he told this 15-year-old girl not to tell anyone about what took place. This young girl, on leaving the house, she reported the matter to somebody else. As a result, she was taken to Sissoka at the Savlamar police station where an official report was made. Following investigations, the man, 55 years old, is a farmer. He was arrested and charged for the offense. The son, we are told that he has not yet been captured. So he is wanted by the police for the offense, whilst his father, he has been arrested and charged for failing to report the offense. People, it is an offense if somebody reports that incident to you, especially if the person is under the age of consent. If that teenager reports such an incident to you and you fail to report it to the police, you can be arrested and charged. You best believe that. The law says that. So, this 55-year-old man, he'll be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. In the next incident, we are learning that a 19-year-old man is battling for life in hospital. His name is Rajay Narman. Like we said, he's 19 years old and he's from Sandy Bay in the parish of Hanover. We are learning that early this morning, Sunday, the 28th of November, 2021, about 
12.30. Raje and two other men, they were riding on a motorcycle. Yes, three of them were on the motorcycle. They were riding along the Sandy Bay main road in the parish of Hanover. When our information is that the person who was riding this motorcycle, he lost control of it and it collided in the embankment. The three persons who were on the motorcycle, they sustained injuries. They were rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital where Rajay, at the time we were recording this video, we were told that he was still unconscious. If anything changes, will be updating this story we are also learning that the other two persons they also received injuries but their injuries is not as serious as Rajay's injuries now in this next incident people of Trelawney well people in western Jamaica well people all around be aware this incident it took place yesterday evening it took place on Saturday November 27th 2021 sometime after 6 p.m it took place at a place named felix pond felix pond is in the duncan's area of trelawney we are learning that a man is about 70 years old he had gone to falmouth to collect some money he had this money in a black pouch he took a taxi from falmouth and he came out of this taxi at his gate at felix pond the taxi drove off and our information is that a silver Toyota Axio with two men aboard drove up. Hear this now. These two men who were in this car, they were dressed in blue denim. They stopped at this man's foot and shouted, Police, don't move. They told the man that they are police officers from the Duncan's police station. They proceeded to take away the pouch from this man containing over 60,000 Jamaican dollars along with other valuables. They also took away his cellular phone. The hoodlums, yes, the fake police, they then drove away with the items. It was when they drove away that this man realized that the two persons in the car, they were in fact not police officers. They had just robbed him. So, persons, be aware. Christmas is coming up and we are going to hear a lot more of these incidents occurring if you go to any of these remittance services to collect money if you are of certain age don't go alone do what you must to protect yourself and your property hoodlums are lurking now in this next incident it took place last night saturday november 27th 2021 about some minutes after 7 pm it took place on the shrewsbury housing scheme at Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a lady, she operates a bar on the Shrewsbury housing scheme. This lady, she was alone inside the bar when a man entered the bar. This man, he engaged the lady in a conversation. Shortly after, he then brandished a gun and demanded money from this lady. He was given 70,000 Jamaican dollars in cash. He also took away the lady's cellular phone. Before he left, he ordered her to lie face down on the ground. Now, can you imagine? Just think about it for a moment. Can you imagine what was going through this lady's head when she was told to lie face down on the ground? Just think about it for a moment. However, the good thing is that this hoodlum, he did not harm this lady. He made good his escape on foot in the area. Next up, we carried a story almost two weeks ago. We told you of an incident that took place at Lennox B. Goods in Darlestan in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place on Sunday, November 14th, 2021, in the early morning, almost 5 o'clock. We told you then that a lady, she was inside of her house when she heard strange sounds inside of the house. When she got up, she saw a man inside of her bedroom. This man, he held up the lady with a ratchet knife. He then proceeded to rob this lady. He robbed her of 4,000 Jamaican dollars in cash. He then made good his escape on foot in the area. 
We are learning that he had entered this house by forcing open a back door and the same house. The Darlistan police, they commenced investigation. Because right away, the lady knew who the dirty drunker was. So, some days later, he was picked up by the police. We are learning that he was positively identified by the lady who was robbed as the dirty drunker who robbed her. As a result, this hoodlum, he was arrested and charged by the police. He was charged for one, burglary, and two, robbery with aggravation. His name is Junior Samuels. He's 31 years old and he lives in the same area, Lennox B. Goods, in Darlistan, in the parish of Westmoreland. So, Junior Samuels, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. In the next incident, we are learning that a 48 years old taxi operator of a St. James address is lucky to be alive. This was as a result of an incident that took place at a place named Rasta Camp in the Granville Police area in the parish of St. James. It took place last night, Saturday, November 27th, 2021, some minutes after 9 p.m. Our information is that this taxi operator, he was driving a Honda Stepwagon motor car. This motor car, he used it to operate as a taxi. He was driving along the Pit 4 main road in the parish of St. James. When on reaching the vicinity of a place named Rasta Camp, it is said that three men stepped out into the road. One of these men, he was armed with a gun. The taxi driver, on seeing this, he stopped and put the vehicle in reverse. The hoodlum, he opened fire at the taxi driver. The taxi driver, he managed to drive straight to the Granville Police Station where he made a report. The front windscreen and the back glass on this Honda step wagon, they were shut out. Luckily, this taxi driver, he was not hit. So, we don't know if these guys even know who was driving the vehicle. But, we are happy to say that this taxi driver, he is alive. He was not harmed. Now, if you are here and you are watching our video, if you have not yet hit on the like button, yeah man, me now stop reminding you. Hit on it now. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, we are growing. We are almost at 50,000 subscribers. When we reach 50,000 subscribers, like we have been telling you for the past two weeks, we'll be giving away over 50,000 Jamaican dollars. And this money, it will be shared amongst 10 or more persons. So, if you have not yet subscribed, remember to hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell, then click on all. So that, whenever we upload a new video, you will be notified. And remember, you, yes, you listening to this, you may be one of the lucky winners. So, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the channel. Now, in the final story for today, and I know this story, you know, is going to touch some people. Some people are going to come on and bash me and say, Papa, you are defending certain lifestyle. Some people are going to come on and cuss and say all kinds of things. But, say what you want. I do not support certain lifestyles. But, you won't hear me advocating for anyone to be killed because they are a part of a certain lifestyle. I will not be coming here to bash anybody who is involved in certain lifestyle. This channel is about dealing with criminals and criminality. That is what we focus on. I wanted to touch this topic for a while now, but I decided on touching it today. And the reason why I'm going to touch it is about saving lives. Yeah man, we know some of you are going to say, Batman for D-E-A-D and all kind of things. You won't hear me saying that. And this is not me supporting certain lifestyle. My wish is that every man were straight. Yes, that's my wish. But in this world that we are living, like we always tell you, we must face reality as it is, not as it was or how we wish for it to be. So the reality is, 
no care how we cost them and no care how we are gonna say them for D E A D and all of that, you are still gonna have men who are engaged in certain lifestyle. Now here's what is happening at flankers and surrounding areas, because it's not only flankers. There's an app named Grinder. It's pronounced another way. But you know what we have to do? We have to protect ourselves when we are talking. But I'm not even gonna spell the app. You can research it. But there's an app named Grinder. This app, it is a dating app. But it's not a dating app for men and women. It's a dating app for men and men or women and women. You get me drift? Yeah, man. So, some guys from Flanka and some other areas, they are using this app. They go on the app and they set up their profile as if they are of a certain lifestyle. They then use this app to meet up with men. They lure the men to flankers and surrounding areas. When the men meet them at flankers or wherever they meet, them deal with them wicked to say the least. Them cut them up, they inflict all kinds of injuries to them. In one or more incidents, they have set fire to the men. They also cut off or almost cut off their private parts. But before that, what these guys do is they force the persons to tell them the PIN number for their cards. They then go to the machine. In one case, the other day, we carried it on the channel. Not even going to call the name of the young guy, but you can do your research. In that case, what this guy did, you know, is when the guy went to meet them, they asked him for the PIN number for his debit card. They went to the machine and they were unable to draw any money. What they did afterwards was they forced the guy because the guy did online banking. So they forced the guy to transfer 50,000 Jamaican dollars to someone else's account from the banking app. That young guy, he was able to escape and run to the nearby JDF camp. We are told that he's still admitted in hospital because these guys, them cut him up and them burn him up. They dealt with him wicked. His private parts, we are told, was almost severed. We are also learning that Friday night gone, another guy fell victim to these guys. Same flankers. He met up with the guys in flankers. And the guys, they cut him up badly and asked him for the pin number for his card. They tied him up and left him and they left to the machine to draw the money. However, somehow, this guy, he managed to escape. We are told that this guy, about 22 years old, he has not reported the matter to the police because he's afraid and ashamed of reporting it to the police. Now, listen to me now. Before you reach the shame and afraid part, you have to protect yourself. Once you hook up with people, or men, on this dating app, and they are telling you to meet them in Montego Bay, you best believe you are in for trouble. Parents, parents, I'm talking to you now. My view is that as long as my child is living in my house, I must know what he or she is doing. That is my view. Now tell me, say, them are adults or this or that. If you're an adult and you know what I know what you're involved in, leave my house. That is my belief. If a child is living in my household, don't care your age as long as you're living in my house. I need to know what you are doing. Parents, you are going to be listening to this. Ensure that you inform your kids about what is happening. No need to be living in denial. We are talking about saving lives. A lot of you, you know that your child, your son, is involved in certain lifestyle. Talk to them about what is happening. Don't be afraid to talk to them. Because at the end of the day, if you don't talk to them, you are going to end up being sorry. I hope I was able to shed some light on this. Once again, that app is called Grinder. You can do the research and you will find it. Since the start of the year, 2021, we are learning that at least five persons were taken out at flankers as a result of men hooking up because of this dating app. Five persons were taken out and at least three persons, they lived to tell the tale. One young man is now in hospital 
And one that we tell you about that occurred on Friday is afraid of reporting the matter. Another one we are told he was hospitalized earlier in the year and has since been released. But guess what? His private parts was severed. That is how these guys are dealing with the persons who they are hooking up with. Those guys, they are pretending to be a part of this lifestyle. Yeah, man, you know the lifestyle I'm talking about. Be ye warned. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Mm-hmm.